From the first time I seen, I was, I was in love. I'll be honest with you, that was my love at first sight. As they come down slow, it's just mosaic, it's, it's gorgeous, look at this. That's, that's entertainment. That's a, this is just great to me. Listen, what other hobby can you have that you can release a live creature that can fly up in that sky? And he can go any way he want because I have no strings on them. As you can see, they can go any way they want, do what they want. But guess what? They want to come back home because you know why? Because they're taken care of well here. That's what I love. I love to fly my birds. Fly my birds and just, you know, take, just take care of life. Just do life. That's it. One day at a time. But it just makes it go by a little bit easier, you know? I come from the baddest neighborhood in Brooklyn, you know, and, I, and I've been into my troubles, but guess what, for the majority of time, I was on the roof flying my pigeons, so therefore I was keeping out of trouble. I was keeping away from the streets, keeping away from the drugs. I never smoked a drink in my life, so therefore, you know, I'm 50 years old now. And I grew up in Brownville, Brooklyn, where drugs and, and alcohol was rampant. I could have had anything I wanted at any given time, but that wasn't my calling. They, you know, I wanted to do, I'd be up here with the birds until, in summertime, I could literally go up on the roof of the birds at seven o'clock in the morning and literally come down by 9.30 at night when it's dark outside. And that's a full day for me. And I'll be up there cleaning, flying, trying to catch other people's birds, other people trying to catch my birds, whatever. But I'm having a ball. And I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. I've been doing it 40 years now, 40 years I've been doing this. And I still love it the same way I picked it up the first day. When I first seen those pigeons fly, I still love it the same way. Okay, if I wasn't on the roof all summer long, I'm in Brownville, guns popping, things going down, robberies, whatever, my friends dying, you know, from different from things, drugs, shootings, whatever. Oh, hell yeah, the pigeon was a savior, you know what I mean? It was just, I'm on the rooftops, so I'm up here, you know what I mean? I'm up here watching what's going on down there, you know? So yeah, hell yeah, it was definitely a savior. The whistle I'm using now, that, that sound you hear, that's just for me to feed them. It comforts them, you know what I mean? It, it calms them to know that I'm not, you know, chasing them and it's, it's safe, no predators around. Except for that hawk that's sitting on that antenna over there, but other than that, you know, it's just comforting to them. But then you have also when I go, Woo! they know that's a different sound to make them act accordingly. When it comes down to put him work in, the pigeons, they, they could get me to clean their poop, whatever, you know, it's like, there's no job that I say I won't do for them, you know? Out of 365 days out of the year, I'm probably up here more than likely about 330 of them. If I'm not doing something at work or whatever, whatever, I'm here, this is where I'm at. This is what I enjoy doing, you know? You can find me any given time on my roof. This is what, we do. This is just the, the fun of everything, you know? Maybe when I'm 80 and I can't get up to the roof anymore, maybe I'll start taking care of street pigeons. Who knows, you know? Who knows what's going to happen? Right now, my, my fo main focus, my main focus has been for the past 40 years is to enjoy my birds, man.